This weekend we are in Cherry Hill Park Campground in College Park, Maryland. Our site is 1609. It is a back end site, full hookups. And we are at the corner of Appalachian Trail and Banff Pass. Alright, so we are walking down the road that our camper is parked on. We are heading towards the cafe and pool area. It's quite a large campground. It's pretty spread out. So, right here we have bathhouse number two. Very nice facility. Back over here there's a pond. I don't know if they allow any fishing in there or not. We'll have to find that out. And over by bathhouse number two there's also a small playground area for children. Looks like there's some yurts over in there. Oh yeah, tent sites and glamping pods. I guess they're calling those glamping pods now. And that is on the Capitol Reef Loop. All right guys, so now we are approaching the ballroom and the pool is connected to this as, and they also have a cafe here that from what I understand serves pizza and I heard that it's pretty good we might have to try that for lunch it looks like this is where the laundry and showers also are for this area of the campground and there also seems to be a theater here there's quite a few squirrels around here By the way, that right there I believe is 495, which is the Capitol Beltway in Washington, D.C. Okay, very loud truck there. So if you're traveling down 95, this is a great place to stop. It's not too far from 95 or 495. So if you need a place to stay overnight, very nice campground, very nice campground for that. And if you're visiting Washington, D.C. and you're looking for a place that's outside of the city to camp, we're probably 20, 15, 20 minutes maybe from downtown D.C., if that. So this is the Starlight Theater. And unfortunately, because of COVID, it is temporarily closed. By the way, this campground also has tour buses that leave from it to go down to DC so if you don't feel like driving into the traffic in downtown DC all you have to do is go to the front office and they'll probably set you up with a tour bus how easy is that all right so this is the pool area right here there's two pools one right there that has a little splash pad and then there's a deeper pool right here it looks like this is where the cafe is and they have a hot tub as well. They have some seating in here for the cafe. When COVID's not around, there's a game room. Hot tub. Here's some brochures of things to do in the area. There's more seating over here. Oh, look at this. They have a nice fish tank. Saltwater fish tank, too. That's pretty cool. And here's the laundry facility. It's a 
closer look at the menu here. Here's another shot of the pool. All right, I think next we're gonna take a walk up to the main entrance area where the main office and registration is. We'll take a look at the camp store and see what they have to offer inside there. Okay, as we head up towards the front of the park, we have another playground right here. This one's quite larger than the other one. A lot more activities to do over here. And of course it's themed in what else but red, white, and blue. And just opposite of the playground, there's more campsites over here. And it looks like there's quite a bit, variety of different size RVs over there. And it looks like just opposite of the registration building, there is a basketball court. So before we go into the main office area, let's head over here. Because I think yeah, there is a water park here. A little small one. Splash pad. Of course, I think because of COVID right now, it is closed. Some more swing sets and a slide. So back here is the mini golf, which is right behind the main registration area. Off to our left here, waterfalls and ponds. And here's the miniature golf course. Oh, it looks pretty awesome actually. This is actually a really cool miniature golf course for a campground. Looks like it's themed in African, maybe not. So I have to say, I'm really impressed with that miniature golf course. Very well laid out, very well maintained, and the theming is awesome. You don't see that too often at a campground. All right guys, as we head into the main office here, I just wanted to let you know that that miniature golf is only a dollar per person, and proceeds go to a local charity. So that's really cool. So we're in the main office area, and this is the camping. Very, very well stocked. Bathing suits, pool shoes, lots of RV equipment. I think we needed this for our last trip to Tennessee. What do you guys think? Here's more of the camp store on the side. They have some toys, some books. This is all the food that they have here. Well, beverages, beer. Here's the food that they have. Milk, 
some breakfast items right there and butter. And here's an aisle with some dry goods right here. Stock pretty well. They also have a freezer with ice cream. And some TV dinners. And more TV dinners. And they have a microwave oven. Sodas. Hot coffee and cappuccino and hot chocolate. And another freezer full of ice cream. Well guys, I just left the camp store. Wow, what a great camp store. It's one of the best I've seen at any of the campgrounds that we've been at so far. They have quite a selection. Lots of clothing, lots of gifts, lots of books for the Washington DC area, as well as a very well stocked RV section. Just about anything that breaks on your RV, they probably have it. And here is a shot of the main entrance of the Cherry Hill Park campground. Well, we're all packed up and that's gonna do it for us from Cherry Hill Park in College Park, Maryland. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so, it really helps our channel out. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and the notification bell to get notified of new videos when they become available. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. for sticking with us to the end of the video. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and check out our other videos.